After a long career in naval architecture, Sten Shostren dedicated his life to exploring shipwrecks in the South China Sea and recovering the tons of ancient Chinese porcelain that lie at its bottom. Wow! Surprisingly light. So light, so light. But it was the one wreck which had no pottery at all that gave Sten the most satisfaction. In 1941, during World War II, a Dutch Navy submarine captain, Captain Busmarker, went down in history as having made a gross navigational error aboard his submarine, the O-16. This cost the lives of 36 of his own men. There was only one survivor on that fateful day. Sten's wreck diving was about to rewrite history. I heard about the O-16 in uh, 1991 when uh, the Dutch Navy was out in South China Sea looking for the lo their lost submarine. Uh, at the same time, I also got access to the only survivor's report. In December 1941, Holland joined the British in the fight against Japan in Asia. The O-16 submarine immediately set sail from Britain's military base in Singapore to the northeast coast of Malaya in search of Japanese vessels. Just a couple of days after a successful series of attacks against Japanese ships, the submarine hit a mine, exploded. It sank to the bottom of the South China Sea, killing 36 of Busmarker's own men. The Dutch submarine was thought to have mistakenly hit a British planted mine. As their allies, Busmarker should have known the position of these mines, and he was forever held responsible. After 50 years, the Dutch Navy resumed its search for the O-16, armed only with the lone survivor's report from 1941, which said he had been drifting in the water for 38 hours before reaching land. Reading that report, I thought that the Dutch Navy were looking for the submarine in the wrong location. He would have drifted more or less north to south. The information available to the Dutch Navy was that the current was going east to west and west to east. But they did not know about the current outside the chain of island, which is generated by the monsoon. And therefore, they were looking in, in the wrong area, in my view. Sten set about sourcing as much information on the area as he could and started piecing together the puzzle of the O-16's location. He began asking local fishermen for clues to any large objects that may have got in the way of their nets. After more than 50 years, the O-16 was finally found by Sten's team, 40 miles from where it was always thought to have sunk. This meant that the submarine was nowhere near the known British minefield, and that Captain Busmarker and the O-16 had hit a completely different set of mines. Coinciding with this search was the release of some pertinent information from Japan. It was first in 1991 that the Japanese released some secret information, there too, secret information, saying that they had placed a mine line 40 miles away from the location. Knowing the captain did not sail into a known English minefield, he had actually hit a Japanese mine. His record should be cleared. In 1995, 54 years after the O-16 sank, the Dutch Navy sent out representatives to join Sten to examine the wreck. The team included the late Captain Busmarker's sons. The two sons O-16 captains was on board my vessel. They had been living their whole Navy life as Navy officer with the thought and the rumors that their father was not a good navigator but had killed 36 innocent people by hitting a known English mine. None of that was true. And when these two Navy officers were sitting in front of me and crying their heart out because it was finally evident that their father was a good navigator, it's, 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 it's the best moment in my life, actually, at sea. <laughs>